Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, I've been doing a lot of writing lately and uh, getting engrossed in a lot of the, the game development. But uh, before I forget, I want to uh, kind of fill you guys in on how this uh, ended up. Uh, last time I posted an update, we, uh, we were going over the parallax scrolling. So what, what I've got here, um, there's a lot of code here. I know it probably looks a little bit jumbled and confusing. Um, but basically, this is the important part. Uh, so what I've got now, and, and this the sun rays, uh, I, I canceled the sun rays. The sun rays are actually now on the foreground layer. Um, I just had too many layers going; it was slowing it down. So uh, what I've got is I've got a foreground, I've got a foreground layer that I'm moving independently, and I've got a background uh, layer that I'm moving independently. So the foreground layer is all this stuff here uh, in the front, front objects. Uh, all this stuff here, all the stuff in the front that's uh, this, this dark layer, that's the foreground. And what I'm doing is every uh, every uh, time the room cycles, every frame, I'm moving the viewport, um, I'm sorry, I'm moving the uh, foreground to the left, that whole layer to the left at one seventh the, to the, uh, the speed that I'm moving through the viewport, that the viewport is scrolling. Okay, uh, then I've got the background. The background is the stuff back here. This, the, all this, this, this stuff way back here. Um, that is moving to the right. Notice that there's a plus, a minus here and a plus here. That's moving to the right, 1 14th the speed. So it's not moving as fast because it's all way off in the distance. But it's, uh, it's, it's much further away from the mid uh, ground of the, the screen than this is. Uh, close to the mid-ground screen. The, the distance is much further. Um, so, and it's moving to the right, so it's actually going to, while the foreground moves faster as I walk, the background moves slower, and what you're looking at here, this mid-ground is actually an object as well. This is a mid-layer object. So, you're not actually seeing anything in the background. All you're seeing are three giant objects. And I'll show you how it looks. Uh, by running the game, I'll show you kind of how this how this looks. So here, here's a little thingies falling from the sky. So that's still in there. And as Jack walks, watch the background and the foreground, and you see everything moving on its own layer. The uh, the difference is much more noticeable now that both layers are moving. Now, in fact, I'm going to go ahead and levitate over this gorge. That, that won't be like that in the final version, of course. Um, and so there you go. There's the, the foreground and the background, again, moving completely uh, interdependently. Um, there's, there's one thing back here I wanted to point out. Somebody asked about the horizontal line here. This is actually uh, the, the edge of the beach, and it's, this is going to change a little bit. Um, hopefully there will be animated water if I can get it to, uh, to look good and not slow down the computer too much as I'm animating it. Um, I guess we'll see. It's part of the experimentation of uh, adding features and then testing and see if you know I'm bogging down the, the game too much and you know, sometimes I have to pull back. Um, I've got some objects here. There's a shimmering web object. Um, anyway, um, and what I don't have yet is I don't have stuff in the foreground. So when you when you finally when this this game is or when this room is finished uh, completely. It's when, this is one of those annoying little things I, I don't usually do until later. But uh, these little flowers and all these little plants and things, they will all pass in front of Jack's feet. So he'll, he'll sort of appear to be more kind of uh, put, you know, pushed back into the scene once that happens, and, and he'll seem to be more part of it. So that's that. Um, also, I wanted to let you guys know, if you haven't yet, Go check out the forum. Uh, the forum is where you can go and uh, keep up with the happenings. Uh, in fact, I'll give you a preview here. If you if you uh, if you're not uh, in the the backer area yet, this stuff will read zero. It's not really zero. There's lots of stuff going on here. There's just uh, it's just gonna look like zero until you get permission to get back here. And so when you get in here, you're gonna see some different forums and uh, and when you go in here you'll see updates lots of updates on on the everything from the writing to the uh, the storyline uh, 
development stuff goes there. Art updates, uh, video diary. Uh, well, the video diary is is uh, has been started. Uh, there's not a whole lot going on with it right now because I'm kind of split it off into the the public videos that I put out and then the video diary, which will be longer, uh, more concentrated episodes, and um, is a complete list of official updates. So as you can see, there's. There's been a there's there's been some some stuff that you will have missed that you don't uh, you're not privy to if you're not a backer uh, but you can get in there and just by even uh, pre buying the game for the fifteen dollars you can get in become a backer and uh, just just uh, message me when you get in there and I will uh, I will give you access to the private backer area um, if you don't know how to become a backer uh, and you miss the Kickstarter that's okay uh, just go to the website and uh, you can go there's a couple things you can do you go straight to the store and you can just pre-order Jack right here 15 bucks pre-order it or pre-order it with the soundtrack uh, there's also some, some extra nifty little things in here that you can check out and, and grab uh, or if you want to go to the uh, become a backer this is this is actually once you hear in the store you're actually on the in the Jack Houston area which you can also get to from games Jack Houston on from the main page and you're in the Jack Houston area uh, once you're here you can become a backer and then you have more options you watch the teaser and you've got different reward levels with different nifty things uh, as you see once you get past a certain uh, level here you get you start to get physical rewards um, all kinds of physical rewards. There's still lots of stuff that's uh, that's available. Uh, not quite as much. It doesn't go as high as, as the original uh, uh, Kickstarter, but there's lots of stuff here. Uh, so check it out. And like I said, uh, even just 15 bucks, uh, lieutenant level, you can come in and, and be a backer. You'll get uh, the whole game uh, when it comes out, and you'll be able to follow along with this on the forums. So check that out and. I uh, hope to see you soon uh, joining us on the forums, asking questions, and pretty soon we're going to get into some content voting. If you get to that level, there's a certain level that uh, that get, has content voting. Um, I'd love to see, uh, I'd just love to see more people uh, involved in uh, checking out, you know, the, the video updates, checking out the, the uh, forum updates, and uh, putting in your input. Uh, I love to hear from you guys so come on down to the forums and join us thanks